everyone and welcome to the Millennial Revolt, an independent political talk show that seeks to bring a different narrative than the stale one we have going on right now in the mainstream media. So today we're going to be talking about a video that was released by Project Virtus Action, which is a bombshell. This video is already blowing up on YouTube. It is exploding over social media. It's called Rigging the Election Video 1 Clinton Campaign in DNC Incite Violence at Trump Rallies. And it is one of the most shocking videos I have ever seen in my lifetime. And we're going to discuss it right now, so let's just get right into it. So basically what this video entails is it talks about the violence at Trump rallies. Because I remember watching especially what happened in Chicago where that whole rally was shut down. People were being assaulted, and it was just a whole big thing. He released another video today specifically talking about voter fraud, and I believe he is going to release another video tomorrow. But this particular video has to talk about Trump rally violence. And the reason why this is important is because the Clinton campaign shaped their narrative around Donald Trump is divisive, he is unelectable, he divides people. Now, for full disclosure, I am not voting for Donald Trump. I don't like some of his policies. But what is extremely shocking about this video is it shows that there were people who were hired to become agitators and instigators at this election. And people were openly talking about this in this video and how they were paying people to come to his rallies and be disruptive. And at first, when I first started seeing what was happening at his rallies, I thought, okay, people are coming to your rallies to show they don't like you. They don't like what you're saying. You're being very divisive. You're you know, you're not bringing people together. But after seeing this video and seeing what's going on, it just makes me think about all the things that have been happening and how the strings are being pulled behind the scenes to create a narrative that's not exactly true. So let, I'm going to show you some of the video right now. And you're protesting, and you do these actions, mm -hmm. you will be attacked at Trump rallies. That's what we want. Oh, so oh, oh, so that's part of the process that's, of getting of eliciting the reaction. The whole point okay. of it is we know that Trump's people will, will freak the fuck out. The security team will freak out, and his supporters will lose their shit. This is Scott Fovel. He is the national field director for Americans United for Change. He used to work for People for the American Way, an organization funded by George Soros. He also has his own company called the Foval Group. He is one of the dark operatives for the Clinton campaign. We were contracted directly with the DNC and the campaign, both. Yeah. I am contracted to him, mm -hmm. but my, I answer to the head of special events for the DNC mm -hmm. and the head of the special events and political for the campaign. The campaign pays DNC, DNC pays Democracy Partners, Democracy Partners pays the Foval Group, the Foval Group goes and executes the shit on the ground. Democracy Partners is a private political consulting company with deep ties to Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama's White House, and the Democratic National Committee. We are the primary mechanism as a team. Democracy Partners is the, the tip of the spear. So what this video basically exposes is it shows that the Hillary Clinton campaign, the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, and multiple outside groups are being paid to cause and go stir up issues at Donald Trump rallies. Now, it truly makes me wonder how genuine these protests are when you have people on camera saying, well, we were hired by the DNC to do this, to try to get the Democrats elected. This is completely unethical. Now, here's my thing. It doesn't matter if you are on the left or if you are on the right, depending on where you fall on the political spectrum. What matters is, is if we have a clean and fair election. There should be no reason why the Clinton campaign is using the DNC to hire these groups to try to stir up trouble. Your policies should be able to speak to the American people. You as yourself, the candidate, should be able to speak to the American people to try to get them to vote for you, to try to get them to believe in your message enough where they can turn out their vote. 
you know what I mean? It, it it just goes to show how staged all of this is, how things are being played in the background that we don't even know about. And for me, this is honestly the Watergate of our generation because this is completely unethical. These people should be in jail for what they're doing. They're showing and they're creating a narrative that's not true. If you don't like Donald Trump as I do, that is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But his supporters have been called racists. They have been called xenophobes. They have been called deplorables. They've just been called a whole lot of things. And now, slowly, we're finding out that this is not true. And thank God this is coming out before the election because the American people have a right to know who they are voting for and what kind of person that they are voting for who will do everything and anything to get elected. We see what kind of person Hillary Clinton is and the people she surrounds herself with, with the Podesta emails. We've seen this with the DNC WikiLeaks. We've seen this with the Guccifer 2.0 leaks. I mean, how much more do the American people need to see that this election is so off the chains with corruption and just scandal and the amount of money just flowing into this election is it's just completely unreal and this is one of the most important elections we will ever have in our generation and the reason why I say this is because it will truly decide the direction in the fate of the country and this is not a joke if we allow someone like Hillary Clinton to get into office with the amount of corruption, the amount of backwards dealings that are just going on. What does that say about us as a nation? There are two other candidates in the race who are both good choices to vote for in this election, and they need to be given a voice and they need to be given a platform. Gary Johnson and Dr. Jill Stein should not be sidelined for anyone. So what this video is showing you, to sum it up, is a blatant violation of federal campaign coordination laws between Hillary Clinton's campaign, the DNC, and Hillary Clint Clinton's campaign super PAC. So I'm going to show you another clip where they're openly discussing this, where they know what they're doing, and they're discussing the fact how they meet up at Trump rallies and um, Mike Pence ra um, rallies to openly stir up agitation. It is one of the most cynical and disgusting things I have ever seen in my life. So we have to deliver every day uh -huh. for our groups of clients who are involved in these projects. AUFC, uh -huh. uh, A4C, which is Alliance for uh, Change, uh -huh. um, Alliance for Retired Americans, which is part of AFL-CIO. Mm -hmm. They're one of our partners on, on the AUFC stuff, for social security. Depends on the issue. And then there's, there's the DNC and the campaigns mm -hmm. and priorities. Priorities is a big part of this too. Mm -hmm. The campaigns and DNC cannot coordinate with priorities, mm -hmm. but I guarantee to you that the people who run the super PACs all talk, talk to each other and we and a few other people are the hubs of that communication. Like, so you're kind of like um, intermediaries between the super PACs and the DNC. But they can't, the DNC, they can't talk to each other. Okay. But you guys are kind of like... We're consultants, so we're not the official entity. Mm -hmm. And so those conversations can be had between consultants who are working for different parts. Yeah. Okay. That's why there's, that's why there's Bob... Who's the primary there, and I'm a sub to him, mm -hmm. and I'm also primary to AUFC separately. That's why. So there's like a Morse code between the DNC and the super PACs. It's, and it's you guys less are... of a Morse code than it is a, a text a text conversation that never ends. It's like that. Uh huh. It's kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like um, an ongoing Pony Express. Okay, so I mean that's not as efficient as it could be, but that's because the, the law doesn't allow it to. The thing that we have to watch is making sure there's a double blind between the actual campaign and the actual DNC and what we're doing. There's a double blind there. No, so that. that they can plausibly deny that they knew anything about it. So the man in the video, Scott Fovel, is 
openly talking about how the Clinton campaign, the Democratic National Committee, and Hillary Clinton's super PAC is working in tangent to try to get her elected. It's one of the most craziest scandals I've ever seen in my life. Because if this was a Republican, this would be broadcasted everywhere. And everyone knows it will be broadcasted everywhere. I mean, the double standard and the amount of hypocrisy between people who call themselves liberal or progressive who will allow this type of corruption and this type of unethical behavior to go on just kills me. People who call my, themselves liberal, myself included, cannot hold or say we hold the moral high ground if we accept this kind of behavior who is the person who is the standard bearer for our party. I'm currently a registered Democrat. Hillary Clinton represents our party. She is the standard bearer for what it's supposed to mean to be a Democrat. You're representing us. So how can we say, well, we are better than the Republicans if we allow this to continue? So the next clip that I'm going to show you is Scott Fovel talking about how there is a particular script that these so-called protesters use Use so they can go to Trump rallies and stir up trouble. So basically, they leave nothing to chance. There's a script. Oh, there is a script. There's a script. Okay. There's a script of engagement. Sometimes the crazies bite, and sometimes the crazies don't bite. They're starting confrontations in the line, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? They're not starting confrontations the volunteers. in the rally, because once they're inside the rally, they're under Secret Service's control. When they're outside the rally, mm -hmm. they're more effective out. They're harder to get in. The media will cover it no matter where it happens. I assume it's he always in the rally. Initiating the conflict by having leading conversations with people who are naturally psychotic. Right. Okay, I mean, honestly, it is not hard to get some of these assholes to pop off. Right. It's, it's a matter of showing up to want to get into the rally in a Planned Parenthood t-shirt, mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, Trump is a Nazi, you know, you can, you can message to draw them out mm -hmm. and draw them to punch you. Now, I applaud James O'Keefe because this is amazing investigative journalism. This should be covered on all of our news stations, but given the fact that the mainstream media is actively working to try to get Hillary Clinton elected, we're not going to see any of these tapes on any of the news channels, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. I think the only person who covered it, even on Fox, was Sean Hannity, which was shocking to me, but not really because he's all he's all in for Trump, so everyone knows that. The next clip that I'm going to show you guys is mentioning Scott Fogel, how he goes and has a list of Trump rallies where he organizes the protesters to go and make an appearance there. And then the, the next person that is going to be shown in this clip, his name is Aaron Black, where basically he says he is like the director of getting all of these people to go to these rallies and cause trouble it's very shocking what's going on events mm -hmm. we update this on an ongoing rolling basis every morning mm -hmm. those are all okay. the trump appearances these are all the trump and pence appearances tomorrow for instance we are turning out 500 people mm -hmm. in front of the trump international in dc we have to have people prepared to go wherever these events are, which means we have to have a central kind of agitator training. Yep. Now we have a built-in group of people in New York who do this. Okay. We have a built-in group of people in DC who do this. I was gonna say, are they, are they localized? We have a group of people in Vegas. We have a group of people okay. in Colorado. We have a group of people in Minneapolis. So I'm basically deputy rapid response director for the DNC for all things Trump oh. on the ground. Nobody's really supposed to know about me. <laughs> So the Chicago protest, when they shut all that, that was us. It was more him than me, but none of okay. this is supposed to come back to us because we want it coming from people. We don't want it to come from the party. So if we do a protest and it's brown, oh, DNC protest, it's right away the press going to say partisan. But if I'm in there coordinating with all the groups on the ground and sort of playing field general, but they're the ones talking to the cameras... It, it, then it's actually people. 
but if we send out press advisories with DNC on them and and Clinton campaign, it just it doesn't have the same effect. We have to be really careful um, because so <laughs> because what we don't need is for it to show up on CNN that the DNC paid for X people to. That's not going to happen. Zulema Rodriguez and Aaron Black are bragging about a protest last March that turned extremely violent and led the Trump campaign to cancel a huge rally. Fights broke out between protesters and Trump supporters, and two Chicago police officers were injured. Based on our reporting, the event was not spontaneous. We have a call with the campaign every day to go over the focuses that need to be undertaken. I just had a call with the campaign and the DNC. We met her at the Republican convention in Cleveland in July. And then, um, and then we also did the Arizona one where we shut the highway down. Yeah, really? Yeah. So these are the people behind the Trump rally protests. It is very interesting, the video. It is very upsetting to watch when you're seeing all of this. I will have a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourselves, the full video, so you can just get context for everything. I'm the Millennial Revolt. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.